Hey guys, AstroDev here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can code with NDLLs in Finite Funkin Codename Engine. Now, one of the coolest things that popped out to me whilst I've been playing Finite Funkin mods and just gen genuine normal mods is how NDLL scripting lets you do amazing things. Like, NDLL scripting is what's responsible for making transparent windows, changing wallpapers, hiding and showing the taskbar and things like that. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how all of these fun features work. Now essentially with NDLLs you can technically do whatever you want as long as you know enough C++ to be able to do it because NDLL is not native hex code or anything else it's pure C++ compiled code so you need to know a bit of C++ to be able to do this. So first of all what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the first description uh, first link in the description to download the sample NDLL by the codename crew. Now, what ha what you will get is this. You will get the um, project to to edit your NDLL. You're going to want to go to project common external interface dot C plus plus, and then this will open up your C plus uh, plus code. So by default, the s default NDLL comes with some C++ code to allow you to make a translucent window. But I have my own NDLL that I worked on that has the uh, most popular NDLL functions in all Friday Night Funkin' mods. So inside of my NDLL, <coughs> we have, obviously we have the sample, which is making it transparent. We have hiding and showing the title bar or the task bar. And last but not least, we have getting and setting the wallpaper. So I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and obviously set this up in game. So what you're going to want to do is once you modify it or essentially I'm going to provide in it my NDLL with all the functions in the description below. So just download that or if you're using your own custom NDLL from Codename Crew, ed you need to modify it then you need to go to the root and then if you're on Windows 11, this is a lot easier to do. You simply just click show more, open in terminal. Lovely, and my terminal's being funky again. So you need to open it like that. And then you simply just need to type lime rebuild dot windows. Mine's just been a little bit weird. No clue why it's doing that, but when you run it, as long as you have uh, HXCCP and Lime installed, it should run smoothly. I don't know why mine's breaking. Mine's been working because I have been messing around with NDLs before I made this video. Hopefully it'll work on this run. Uh, if not, I'll just show you guys how to set it up. Yep. So essentially, yeah, all you have to do is just rebuild the NDL and then... Specifically, what you want to get is when you open up your NDLL folder, do not go for the Windows folder. You need to go for Windows 64. Get NDLL example NDLL, and then basically it'll just have a uh, prefix uh, append the platform on there. As you can see, we have my NDLL example, and then what you want to do is obviously uh, you can't use this with events because it will throw your entire game. So you need to incorporate it into a stage. What I did is I remade um, Followed from Erpel Guy, but it has a bunch of uh, system level stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to do everything. So essentially what you want to do is, what you do is you call an NDLL function. You set the NDLL function as a var, but call it as a method. So what you do is you make the var, so for example... Um, Setting the window transparent would be var your var equals ndl util dot get function ndl example which is the ndl file that we're looking for and then the function inside and then the amount of parameters that the function takes and yeah so also if you if you're trying to do wallpaper stuff I recommend you save the user's wallpaper before so I have a function called get wallpaper which gets the user's current wallpaper so we can save it to a string and then obviously we have the path to our wallpaper that we're going to be using and then 
what I recommend doing for um, transparent windows, it because it, it uses chroma key, it will make your sprites look really weird. Like parts of your sprite will be missing. So what I recommend is making a impossible value for a color. So for example, I'm doing the color just a one shade lighter than black, which is one 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 on the R on the RGB scale. So that means that it's and then essentially just set the alpha to zero on the start. And now here is where uh, don't mind all these cases. This is just where I'm doing uh, showing task where and hind and task where are on the beat. And then what you want to do, really, really important information for you guys. Transparent windows will not show up if you are in full screen. So you have to have the game running in windows. So you can force it to be windowed by uh, simply literally just setting a flag. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's flxg.fullscreen and then you need to set it to false. And what we, what we do is we manually set the width to 1920 by 1080 and we set the window uh, position to the top left corner. And then we call our function, which mine is trans window, we set it to active and we say it only affects any any pix, any pixel with the value of 1, 1, 1 on the RGB scale. So that means essentially our anything below uh, this, that color, will be rendered transparent, so that's why you should put the uh, big graphic as a stage asset. And then, obviously, uh, here we have our setting the wallpaper, and so this sets the wallpaper to our custom wallpaper, and this reverts the wallpaper back to what it was originally. So, yeah, basically all you need to know is a bit of C++ if you're making your own, which honestly, I don't know C++ that well. So literally just look up a tutorial or hell, even use ChatGPT. I would say you're perfectly justified in using ChatGPT to make an NDLL because C++ is a horrid language. So yeah, obviously the main part of this is just setting up the functions that's literally all you need to do is just set them up and then call them when you need them to. And then I will show you guys what this whole thing looks like inside of Codename. So we're going to go to Codename. We're going to boot it up. Let me turn it down. Right, we're going to go to free play. And then let me just minimize this so I can show you guys my background throughout the game. So I'm just going to be playing a window so you can see everything. Right, as you can see, we have the taskbar showing and hiding on beat. Alright, here comes the transparent window. Also, a little bit of a side note, transparent window will mess with your FPS, like, really badly. Like, I've gone from about 260 FPS down to 190. So I recommend tapping the FPS if you're going to be using this. Also, um, the arrows when you hit will have a bit of a weird effect on them. I do not know how to fix this. You're meant to make a graphic, which is what I've done, but the graphic fixes uh, nothing. I think I probably have to make two graphics, have one for the background and one for, for the HUD. All right, and here comes the wallpaper change. We'll have a bit of lag whilst the wallpaper changes.
Alright, and then the wallpaper will change back, as you can see. So, yeah, that is everything you need to know about NDLLs. Um, the the NDLL that I made will be in will be on Game Banana unless it gets withheld because <laughs> I don't think it'll get withheld though. Um, yeah, so go get the uh, NDLL down below. And uh, for your guys' information, I am working on a website that condenses all of these coding tutorials into simple pieces of short paragraphs and information, kind of like the Codename Engine API docs, but my version. So basically giving you examples, telling you what to do, and providing links to downloads. So yeah, um, I'll probably, that should be up by the next tutorial. But yeah, uh, I hope you all did enjoy. Uh, if this video helps you in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And yeah, I forgot to mention, my uh, end goal for this entire tutorial series is to get featured on the Codename Engine website as a resource for tutorials. So yeah, uh, share this around so the chance of that happening gets higher. Yeah, but with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Ashradev, out.